Hey everyone, Game Park here, and today I thought I'd do an unboxing for a controller I just recently got, and that is for the Brawler 64 wireless gamepad for the N64. So recently I've been in a bit of a N64 kick, and I've just been keeping my eyes out for a lot of different games and cool peripherals, and um, I've been wanting to play um, N64 games in my living room, but... Um, the distance between the TV and the console, which is sitting underneath it, and where I sit on the couch is, um, it's, it's pretty large. So I was looking online for some wireless options, and the only one that I ever really came across was the Admiral 64 by Hyperkin. And I don't really feel that um, the quality or the ergonomics of that particular controller would be well suited for me. I know there's a lot of other third party options that are wired, but um, they just don't seem to be, uh, you know, what I'm looking for in particular. So um, I kept my eyes out um, online and I found the Brawler 64, which is a wireless game pad. And um, I heard really good things about it, so I decided to, yeah, just go for it. And so, yeah, we're going to be doing an unboxing for this one. I also have my N64 uh, console and the controller that I got with it. This is part of the Donkey Kong 64 bundle that I got many, many, many years ago. And so I kind of want to compare the colors and see if it kind of matches and if it looks good. Uh, but even if it's a little off, I'm, a, I'm, I'm expecting it to be a little off. It should be fine, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the Brawler 64 wireless gamepad. So here we have the packaging. This is the side. The top, it is by Retro Fighters, the company that produces these controllers. Here's the their logo again on the side. And on the back, the description. It's a next generation N64 controller with 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology. I prefer that over Bluetooth for some partic for particular controllers just because you will experience uh, less lag. Uh, wireless range over 30 feet, ergonomic and comfortable design, featuring dual Z digital triggers, ultra fast turbo action compatible with memory packs and responsive analog sticks. So yeah, let's take a look inside here. I decided to get the green one. They have blue, red, and standard gray. Those are those particular colors are based off the fantastic um, N64 colors, like this one. This is a jungle green N64, uh, and green is my favorite color, so that's why I decided to just go for this one. So we have here the controller. The stuff that's inside. Now it's empty. Okay. Put this over here. Um, it comes with this little keychain. This is something that I remember seeing in the um, in videos that I've seen. That um, the each color, uh, each yeah, different color for the Brawler 64 wireless controller comes with a different colored little keychain figurine like this. So uh, this is the green one. Looks very nice. It has retro fighters on the back. Pretty neat. This is the um, quick start instruction manual. Okay, basic stuff. It comes with uh, USB-C um, cable. And here we have the actual controller itself. So we have here the controller. This is the dongle that you plug into the N64. So the reason that this looks like this is because um, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't be able to um, transfer the data from N64 memory packs um, over a wireless connection. So the memory, the memory card would basically go in here, which connects obviously to the N64 that way. And I actually prefer that method of having the memory card being in the dongle as opposed to on the controller because the wired uh, Brawler 64 controller kind of has this uh, little, um, this little like um, slot 
and so that makes them have to kind of create this big like bulge on the back so when you're gripping the controller like this your your fingers are always like bumping into it so there's very limited space but this one you know actually feels really good the quality of the plastic uh, feels good it doesn't feel like cheap at all um, and just the way that you hold it um, everything is accessible and it just feels really good so yeah um, I like it a lot definitely here is the jungle green controller that I have and I brought it just to kind of compare the color as you can see it's a little the, I feel the jungle green controller is a little darker this one's a little lighter but somehow from this at least from this angle it kind of looks like it matches the console color a little better but that's that's like that yeah it actually looks really really good in fact I don't know if my controller is just maybe a little dirty or something like that but um, it actually looks like my actual controller is a little darker than the console itself and the retro fighters controller actually looks a lot closer to to the color so you can see that so yeah this is actually a really good pairing at least as the the actual shade and tone of the colors are concerned uh, but still you know it still looks good uh, with the with the regular N64 controller um, but I, I do feel like this is probably going to be my primary way of um, playing N64 games going forward. And one of the things that I really like just from holding it just now is that the C buttons are a lot uh, bigger as opposed to the ones on the original N64 controller that are a lot smaller. So I actually feel that for games, I just bought Tony Hawk, the original Tony Hawk for N64, and that uses the C buttons uh, for all the tricks that you do, and this is going to give me a better feel and a better ability to pull off those tricks. So yeah, this is definitely going to be uh, very well suited uh, for that particular game, and I expect for a lot of other games that I have in my collection. Yeah, and as you can see from the top, it is USB-C. And I had, and I was aware of that. So the reason that I actually have my laptop in the back is because I want to see if this will detect the controller so that I can use it maybe even on my PC for say Project 64, the N64 um, emulator or maybe even uh, some games on Steam. You know, we'll see uh, if it's compatible if or if it detects it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's check that out now. Alrighty, so now I have my laptop over here. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. There we go, okay, that's my... My twice background, okay. So here we have the Retro Fighters controller. I'm going to plug in uh, the USB-C cable. And then I'm going to plug that into the computer itself through one of the ports. And um, we can detect we can see the LED here. Uh, the computer is giving it power. Let's see if we can go to Project 64 now. Here we have Project 64. Let's go ahead and open up actually the options. Go to Controller Plugin. And it doesn't seem to be detecting anything. So that might be kind of a shame. I'm pressing some buttons. Usually if it's detected, it would show up right here. Now the LED is blinking a lot faster, so I'm not sure if that's because it's just turning off or because it can't detect anything. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel. We'll exit the program. Let's try 
opening it once more. And we are going to go to the controller plugin and no controller detected. So that's a shame. It might just be um, for just charging the controller itself, but not have any sort of uh, any sort of compatibility with uh, PC or computer usage. So that is a bit of a shame. Uh, but nonetheless, I, that's something that was on my mind. Um, I hadn't seen any videos uh, of it. I'm sure maybe somebody knows a way to do it. But as far as my my short experiment here, it doesn't look like the Brawler 64 is compatible with at least Project 64, which means that most most likely it is also not going to be compatible with um, Steam or any other games. But yeah, that is the unboxing for the Retro Fighters uh, Brawler 64 controller, wireless, and uh, if again, it feels really good in the hands. Um, this is going to be my primary way of playing N64 games going forward. But yeah, thank you for watching this unboxing, and I will catch you all next time. Peace.